Hey, we are going to take a look at an early REM song. Pretty easy to play, some really nice, some great techniques in it. This is, of course, Fall On Me from 1986, their uh, early album. Might have been first album, Life's Rich, Rich Pageant. Um, nah, third or fourth. Anyway, I, I should have checked that out, but doesn't matter. But you know the song. I mean, it's it's the the sky is falling kind of, kind of fear. Um, Peter Buck has a lot of, does a lot of arpeggio type stuff, and that's mostly what is going on in this song. And right there, that little, the accompaniment to the verse is just uh, a cross-picked arpeggio because of the reason, the order of the strings. Cross-picking meaning hitting in the direction of the next string, not constantly alternating. It's just alternating back and forth between a D minor and an A minor chord and just playing the top four strings. But if I did it with the alternate picking technique, it's, it's a lot busier and um, it's not the sound we're looking for here. So in this case, as we go from string to string, we're going in the direction of the next string. I already said that, but you know what I'm talking about. So we'll break that down. There's a nice little uh, transition, kind of a pre-chorus. And then just some strumming of really easy chords. We'll talk about the chords. They're C, F, G, and D minor. Later on, we use an A minor and an E minor as part of the bridge, which basically means it's using all the chords in the key of C. Not too tricky. Um, there's a couple little unusual bass things, and that is it. So pretty straightforward tune. I'll start breaking it down in the next segment. We'll uh, just take a look at the, the intro, which is pretty cool. And that's just notes out of a C chord. It's up at the 8th, 9th, and, well, 8th and 10th frets with the, with the third string open in between them. That's the main three notes we need. So we'll break all that down. Coming up. A lesson on REM's Fall On Me. That is what normal alternating picking or alternate picking looks like, where I constantly alternate downs and ups, where the downs are always on the beats, and the ups are always on the ands. If I was just hitting the same string, it would be one and two and three and four and. And if I was just, if I was alternating a couple of strings, but if I was doing a pattern like this, a cycle of three notes, it gets kind of tricky because the first cycle would be down, up, down, and the next cycle would be up, down, up. So when patterns like that happen in the sequence of what's going on with the guitar, we usually go into a cross-picking pattern where I go in the direction of the next string. I'm just playing the fourth, third, and second strings open right now, but if my pattern was this, fourth, fourth, second, third, I would go down on the fourth because the next one is the second, then I'd go up on the second, because the next one is the third. Then I'd go up again on the third, because the next one is the fourth. So that cycling through threes would be like this. Up. So if we take a look at the D minor measure uh, at the beginning of the second line, um, I'm now so now I'm holding the D minor chord on, and we're gonna pick through it. The first note is gonna be a down, and then I'm going to the first string, and the second string, and the third string. So I will do all of those as ups. If I was coming back to the D in the bass. So if the pattern was just those four strings. That would be the most efficient way to do this. Now, that's not the pattern because I hit the first three notes, I go down on the D, up on the F, up on the second string, but now when I get to the third string, the note after it is back to the first string. So I want to do that as a down. Then I'm going to go up again on the first, up again on the second, and down on the third because it's back to the first string there. 